Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, dying time has come to the Duck Fest. It is the home of the Bashy Duckers, the number one team in this tournament. They are going to be the defending champions in this final game. If they can hold on and win this game, they will be winning the championship. If it's a tie, they might still win. It's, a, it's a, a sort of up in the air. But anyway, they look ugly and ready, and they have a star player with them to ensure their victory, a loony who is ready to take on the sewer water sallies. Uh, this is a Skaven team who's at the top of their game. If they win this, they may be able to steal the first place away from them. They uh, have been a growing team throughout all of these COVID tournaments, and man, well, they may have been the bringers of COVID, so maybe that's why they're doing so well. Anyway, so here we go with the coin toss. Let's see who gets to go first and who gets to uh, try to bash their heads in. And it looks like it's gonna go to the home team, the Bashy Duckers, who have also stolen some uh, re-rolls. Uh, so that's gonna leave them with five and, and Sewer Water Sally's with none. This should be really interesting. Not only are they a powerful bashing team, but they also uh, are gonna have a lot of re-roll. It, sorry, it sounds like a couple of them are really shouting something at each other on the field. Let's hear what they're saying. What's your name? What? What is your name? Tony! Fuck you, Tony! Well, that was pretty rude, but we have the kickoff now. It looks like it's a high kick from the Sewer Water Sallies, and so that's gonna give the orcs a chance to catch it. With me in the, the booth now is Jamie. <laughs> kick! And that was a good catch there. It looked like the ball kind of froze in time there, uh, but we're off to a start. And uh, it's, it's pretty far back there, but now it looks like the sewer water salads are going to go and try to block them. And the, you know that the sewer water salads are all rat men, Jamie. Rats? Yep. Do they have a cat team? Uh, no, actually not. I do not believe they do, but uh, maybe in uh, Blood Bowl 3, which is uh, <laughs> like Blood Bowl 2 in, uh, uh, what you can, the board game version. <laughs> Blood Bowl 3, The Reckoning. The Reckoning. Well, now it looks like the uh, orcs are having a reckoning. The uh, Skaven are running in there, gonna go ahead, gonna try to block his path uh, with all of their their guys. And in fact, you got a bunch of gutter runners over here as well. Gutter runners? That's just rude. Yeah, you, you Listen, know, we're all trying our best out there to keep fit, okay? You know where their minds are. But you know, that's, isn't that kind of where all rat minds are? I, you know, they, you know that they're all thinking dirty. I have no idea where you're going with that, but I think I'll leave it there. I don't know. See, there you go. Rat time. Ducking hey, legend. He was a ducking legend, and now he's knocked out. <laughs> Not much of a legend anymore. Well, now he really is a he's legend. A legend, <laughs> a legend in his own mind. And I like the little mouse he has there. Whoops. Oh, well, he was up there. He's kind of flop flying, you can tell. Be free, little mousey. Run be free, away. Run away. Don't be in this dollar's danger. Well, he's up for a nap, and that guy's like, what do I do? Uh, I can't figure out what, oh well. Listen, that guy's just been constipated a long time. We can all see it. Mm, and now he's got relief. Oof. Baldy is injured. Skaven are really getting injured. They did not get injured a lot in the last game, but now it is coming home to hunt them. Oof. This is Don Knotts' ending. Oh no, Andy! I'm unconscious! Uh, I think the, the drunkard gave me... I don't remember what the drunkard's name was in that show. I'm sure there's somebody who used to watch the Andy Griffith show all the time who's watching this okay, show. Okay, I was waiting for a heroin joke in there. Um, <laughs> Y'all can decide whatever you wanted to hear. I, I should have absolutely done well. Oh, here comes the loony with his... Uh, oh, what do you do? The chainsaw. I bet there, there's a tree nearby he's going to cut down. <laughs> Maybe he's just being like, stay away. Actually, what I like is that he was scratching his head with the uh, the chainsaw, which is currently on. Wait, how do you... how? I don't know. Well, you, you, maybe he'll do it again here pretty soon. He was he was scratching his head, though. All, you, although, you know, you notice he kind of has some COVID hair there. The hair? He's got COVID hat. He is rocking that thing, man. I'm just thinking the hair is all up inside that business. You don't even know what's in there. Oh, that, well... Okay. It could be nothing but dreadlocks. You don't know. Ooh. You don't know. It's Yaman. He is the he is the loony. He's, he does have his mask though, so he's at least responsible. This is true. Civic duty, man. Civic duty. 
Keeping himself, and he's keeping this. Oh, he was because now he is See, dead. He was good with social distancing, but once that was gone, boom, now he's dead. Uh, you know, he, yeah, exactly. There's a lesson here. Yeah, there's a lesson to be had. I bet a lot of people are like, "See, social distancing is a bad thing." I mean, no, he, it works. He even had the chainsaw to like keep people back. Yep, it all, and it worked. He was alive then, wasn't he? Well, he was until somebody came and smacked his face. Yeah, until somebody broke. The social distance. Oh, I see. So that was the, they were actually teaching a lesson. Don't let yeah, them get close. What I said to you teach gonna a die. Yes. You gonna. Which is die. what I'm saying is everyone stay away from me. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. Well, especially when you run, I've noticed that some of these guys kind of run a little bit like you. <laughs> yeah, and I carry a chainsaw. Oh, especially and that guy flies like you do. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, what are you saying? How would you know how I fly? <laughs> I've seen you when you're high. Oh! No, this is, oh my goodness, he has taken a nap. He even sleeps the way you do. Okay, now that's just true. That's, oh, it's adorable. He's just like, yeah, I am just all laid out. I'm here now. And the Skaven are just kind of like all huddled around him like, all right, we're going to make sure you don't go nowhere. Hey, go back to the sleepy dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. Yep. Saturday morning got me like, <laughs> <laughs> meme it! Somebody meme it! Oh, yeah. Saturday... Oh, I don't even know what the, the, the saying for that is. All right, anyway. Oh, they're still surrounding him. They're just kind of like... They're going to have like a ceremony. <laughs> they're going to kick a dead horse? Is that <laughs> what we're going with here? I think so, or a dead goblin. Ooh, well, he's he's going up and getting revenge for you. Like, you slap me, I slap you. And now I get to look at little... The mouse guy got up on top of him. Where's that little rat guy? With his cheese and everything. Ooh, Big Mother Ducker is K.O. He's just like, that was a big Mother Ducker. And that was their turn, the entire turn of the the ducks. Oh, what are they called again? Oh, well, anyway, the, the orcs. Their entire turn was that guy getting up, trying to attack the uh, attack Snowball. Couldn't do nothing with it, and now he's down again. That's what happens when you attack a rat ogre. Remember. Remember, Jamie. On this day... The many remember the attack of the rat ogre. He came across the valleys and the rivers, up the mountains and to the peaks, back towards the valleys. We are on to another attack, you know. Oh, yeah, sure. There's a game going on. <laughs> There's a game. He's getting knocked around. I don't know if your audience realizes this, but A, I don't understand football. B, I don't understand fantasy. And C, I don't care about either. Yeah, and that's what makes you the perfect commentator on all three. I'd like to hear everyone's comments or read them below. They're, they're all going to say, you guys suck. Yeah, really. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Why don't you shut the hell up? That, yeah. I've that. been asking Jeff to shut up for about 11 years now. You want to know what? <laughs> Still talking. I was going to say, well, what are the other people's comments going to be? We've known Jeff for 11 years. So we've been <laughs> asking him to shut up. Uh, now he's going to go running around the side. Oh, he's getting a bit far there. And so the Skaven are going to go around and try to... Oh, he's going to throw it, and it is... Uh, it was a pass by this ducking guy, but intercepted by the sewer water sallies. Wow, what a diving catch that was. And now he didn't even expect him to have it. Now he's going to run around to the other side. The orcs don't even know what hit them. Who has that? That is Beethoven. Beethoven's going in and saying, I'm going to catch this myself. And you go out there for a pass. I feel like Beethoven was very much a person who went, you all just, I, I just can't leave anything to you. Just do it myself. I'll just do it myself. I'll just perform everything myself. Oh, and, oh, Rat Ogre got, the too, it got in too deep. He pushed the guy into the middle of all the orcs, and then the orcs just ganged up on him. And, oh, man, Beethoven is now out there in the open. With his, oh, no, he isn't in the open. He has a little bit of a cage around him. And the goblin's gonna come in, try to stop him there. And while this all happens, I'm gonna put on the headphones, because I should have been listening to this all this. Oh, there we go, I can actually hear. There we go. Oh, getting tripped. This professional has been brought to you by Bandwagon Games. <laughs> That's right. I'm a professional, y'all. Duckling Lunatic has been stunned, thus sending it back over to the sewer water. Sally's. And uh, Beethoven's going to run over to another little area. He is going to hand it off. Oh, oh, it looks like Ratman has it. Ratman's going in for the touchdown. He's running into the end zone. And touchdown, Sir Water Sally's. Did 
not see that coming. Rat man, da 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 Rat man. And look at the, uh, the beautiful cheerleaders over there. Oh, shake it, baby. Shake it. Wait, they're not rats? No, they're, uh, they're or Well, that's... They look like trolls. They're, they're orcs, which is odd because they're playing against orcs. Those are orcs going against their own kind. Traitors. Once again, the world is a melting pot, Jeff. You don't have to stay to cert racist colloquies. That's true. Uh, well, you know, the, the, the orcs will just cheer for anyone, as long as they're a violent. So what you're saying is they're prostitutes. They'll cheer for anyone for 40 bucks and a beating. Exactly! 40 bucks and a beating. <laughs> That's, uh, my god. You By the way, that was my singles ad that Jeff responded to. Yep. And she said, yeah, I'll take anything for 40 bucks and a beating. Yeah, and I, I was like, that's lady I want. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, the rest is history. Listen, y'all from the south of America, you know what I'm saying. Fist bump. Fist bump and a Bud Light. 11 years later. In fact, speaking of which, you do have a drink for the night. I did say, hey, if I give you a drink, will you narrate this with me? And she said, how strong is the drink? Hey, that's a logical question. Yeah, you know, it, it really is. It, it really is. And, in fact, uh... Oh, well, actually, it looks like we're getting a big beating in the middle here. Anyway. The duckies! The duckies. Which one are you rooting for here? Um, honestly, I feel like whoever dies more wins. Well, so far, the bashy duckers have died. Oh, oh, he tried to pass it, and he dropped it, and the ball has landed in the backfield there. I guess it is only he a He dropped bit. it behind him? He did. He dropped it right back there behind him. And, uh, let's see. All right. Then they're going to be running up there. Oh. And knocking their way through, creating a gap. Oh, uh, now that the gap is there, they're going to run up there to see if they can get that ball into the end zone before. I was looking up here at the, uh... Yeah, how much time is left? The uh, over here they have two turns left. The Skaven have two turns left. The Bashy Deckers have one. That's why they were taking such a wild chance trying to pass the ball down because they only had a couple turns left. And they're not quite as fast as the Skaven, but the Skaven running very quickly, and you can see they're going to put themselves on each side here. So they have made a gap through, and they, the rest of them are just going to stay back and hold. Them. Meanwhile, what, by the way, before we go into the, the halftime, what's your drink you're having tonight? Ball. Oh, um, I, I keep it classic, uh, Jack and Coke. Got a Jack and Coke, and I keep it trashy. I got Mountain Dew and uh, vodka. Yeah, that's his redneck margarita, everybody. That is my redneck margarita. R just perfect for the trailer park, y'all. All right, the orcs are just mad. They're like, screw it. We're not even going to try to get a touchdown. We're just going to give you a beat down here. We're just going for blood points now. Exactly. Blood points. That's what I told you last night when I was beating you, and you just kept being like, Spouse of the Beast! Spouse of the Beast! I know. It was, I just kept getting beaten around, and then I was like, Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. You're just practicing for Blood Bowl. You're getting yourself ready. Right? Yeah. All right. We're getting ourselves set up. It looks like he's going to... Oh! He's going to go take a nap. He's just like, You know what? I've had enough of this half. <laughs> he, all he thought was, I had a lot of things to do today, <laughs> but you know what I did instead? I took a nap. Yeah. It was, was a very, very good nap. nap. There you go. That's our singing skills, and now you know why we're just here on YouTube. Yeah. Hi, all five watchers. <laughs> well, I'm, we're, I'm glad you could come by again. And we still don't have an agent. So can you believe that? So, you know. Oh, yeah. So, you know, if you're signing, we're um, bored and cheap. And we're going to the halftime. Howard, take it over. Hello and welcome to the Halftime Show. I am Zombie Howard Cosell. Tonight's Halftime Entertainment will not be seen as they have been found and slain by the Witcher. Be sure to toss a coin to your local Witcher before he finds you out too. Okay, on to our regularly scheduled mayhem. At half price all night, Hoagies and Grinders challenged Cruel in the gang, who gets the ball first. They push up the left and are surrounded by the dwarves, including their death roller, who's steamrolling over their players. The ball carrier tries to hand it off, but it jumps around to the other players like a hot potato. 
landing in good position for the dwarves. Fearverse picks it up and makes a run for the TD. Tereus almost catches him, but he punches her in the tit. Hey, don't blame me, it's just the height of his fist. He then runs it in for a TD, 1-0 Hoagies. In the second half, the Hoagies give it to their star mercenary, Barrett. He passes it off to Meatloaf, who would do anything for love, but not that. And he runs it down the field. Cruel and the gang stops him, and they get the ball to Alcatho, who passes it to Adon, who runs it in for a touchdown, tying the game at one point each. On to the meat grinder, where the mad villains take on the big me all stars. The ball first goes to the mad villains, landing in their shallow left. Wolfie gets it and tries to run it down one side, then the other. Unable to get through, and with a tornado dragon bearing down on them, they concede the game to the pygmies, and the game ends 0 to 2, pygmy all stars. There were two more games to bring you but they were both cancelled by the mob on Twitter, so they are no longer available. That's alright though, Jamie Ball was at the game and she slept through it all. Looks like she is having a peaceful nap. Well that's all we have for you tonight. Now let's get back to your regularly scheduled game, where two of the players are yelling at each other. What's your name? Ezekiel! Fuck you Ezekiel! <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck you! Well, that was pretty rude. All right, well, at least they're gonna kick it off here now. Okay, and looks like there's brilliant coaching going on. Uh, and the Skaven are gonna get it and they're already ahead. So, you know, basically they just have to hold onto the ball and uh, win this game. But will they? You know, in the last game, they uh, got really greedy and ended up spoiling things for themselves. Will they get greedy again and lose it again? Or will they, they have a trim? Oh, it looks like they're gonna get greedy. And the ball's bouncing down. They're having uh, flashbacks of last game. They Are they just like one of those teams that they just should run and never, ever throw? They should probably just run and hide. You know I mean? They are skin. They are they rats. They are I rats. Mean, although, again, never judge, because as we all learned from New York Rat, you steal that slice of pizza and you feed your turtle children. That's right, actually. That's a very good point. I, uh, you know... I think there was another rat recently who stole some giant piece of food in New York. Uh, Y'all put that in the comments, because I can't remember, but... I mean, also, it's New York. It is New York, and it is rats. But it's yet... the most wonderful city in the world! <laughs> they look... That's what all the rats said. <laughs> that's right. They are, and they are all, they're very fond of pizza. You know what? I wonder if that's what the halfling chef was making. It might have been. I mean, let's get real here, though, for a sec. You make good New York-style pizza... Someone's gonna steal some. And you know, might as well be a rat, right? Right, exactly. And you got the cheese on it and everything. They just ooh, oh, and there's there's the guy with the cheese. Just not just put a little hurt on that orc. But of course, we're in California. I want my pizza to have some avocado on it, and they're all look at me funny in New York. And I was offended. I was offended. I'm gonna say it. I was offended. And then I put some pineapple on mine, and for some reason I got it. Everybody back by... was offended. Yeah. Then suddenly a bunch of Italian guys came and tackled me. <laughs> That was awesome, by the way. Um, hey, by the way, do the Italian guys call me? Call me. What? what why? Are they going to order a pizza from you? Yes. We're going to go get pizza. Uh -huh. And lots of sauce. Oh. By the way, you were asking if they're a passing team. This, they, they literally have guys, two guys right next to each other with like, uh, uh, what was those shirt, uh, the shirt cannons? For, uh, for arms. See? I, I see that. Does that mean that they can actually pass or catch a ball? Well, I think if you put a ball in there, it'd be pretty good. Although right now, they're not passing a ball right there. They'd be fucking pay, playing hot potato. That, they were playing hot potato, and also they were, like, gnawing on their arms. So, you know, they're... <laughs> whoa, whoa, what are you doing? Sorry, flashbacks to Rick and Morty. If you all know, you know. If you know, I want a thumb up in the comment. And if you don't know... Welcome to America. We talk about Rick and Morty. Not gnawing on their arms reminds you of uh, Rick and Morty? Gnawing on their arms with big mechanical cannons on it? Yes. Oh, and now one of them's been injured. Are you happy with yourself now? I Slinky. am not happy. Slinky is injured. And now this other guy's gonna be injured. Those rats should just be happy there's a cucumber in there. 
Or a pickle. Pickle. A pickle. That's Pickle Rick. All right, and the ogre's coming on over to uh, just join the party. They, what do you think of this setup here? Um, I, I feel like they're going to have a rave there. They're just way too close together. Ooh. Uh, they, you know what? They do like to wave their arms about. See, he looks like he's kind of at a rave. And Goblin wants to join the fun. He's running up to them. He's like, yeah, I want to be there too. That guy's kind of trying to figure out what, what this game is. Did I join Tiddlywinks? Alright, Skaven are going to try to get in their way and stop them. Man, the, the half has just barely gotten started. I feel really bad. They have that circle around the dead guy there on the field. They're just like, this is where the body was found. <laughs> get your luck homes. Actually, he's just stunned. Oh, okay. I was... <laughs> it's like... Uh, what, what, God, there's so many abbreviations. Uh, CSI SUV. <laughs> Get that CSI SUV. Yeah. Hey, there's a special SUV, uh, group of CSI. There's. Listen, they go, they go mudding through the river. <laughs> the C the C and they find a body mudding in the river. CSI Special Victims Unit, there's CSI Miami, and there's CSI SUV. I love how CSI, the SVU isn't even CSI, and I can't remember which one it is. Oh, okay. Oh, Law and Order. There, Law see, I got oh, it. Law I got order, it. Law and Order SUV. Yeah, see, it took me a while, but I had to get my SUV to get there, everybody. And then drove for a while. <laughs> for a while, yes. To get to that point. <laughs> Listen, one crime drama is another crime drama. It's like watching any, you know, murder porn. He cut off her arms. He cut off her legs. He jabbed out her eyes. He cut off her hair. He cut off her thumbs. It's all the same! <laughs> you know what? We could do like what they have in all of those where it's like, okay, looking up at it and then zoom in! And now we go way into his body and then we analyze the uh, DNA and we we go through. It was like, here, here's where, uh, what was it? Uh, um, here's where the murder happened. And now we're going to zoom in and look and see all of the uh, clues that are inside of his arm. But as you can tell, his elbow was rotated 36 degrees instead of 45 degrees. 36? Dun, dun, dun. And now which one has the sunglasses that he's going to whip them off and... Ha! Oh, wait a minute. There was a, there was a Skaven that was like that. Yeah, we got to have a good quip for that. Right. Uh, yeah, well, here's one. Get your quip ready. Ready? Okay. He whips his sunglasses. Oh, no, he's now on his arm now. But anyway, he looks through those little things and it goes... Well, that game looks like it was smelled foul. I don't even know what the music is. We'll have that. to look that up. Editor, look up the music and put that in here. <laughs> uh, let's see. So you asked about the dead body. There is a dead body like right over here. They're just like leaving it out for everybody to it see. It was less of a question and more of a commentary on the rudeness of the stanking body. I get no one can tell the smell of the stanking giving where we're at. Isn't it nice though they buried him with his chainsaw? You know, that's just respectful. Yeah. I mean, you don't do that. What, what are you even worth? And put him right there with one of the other, like, the skeleton of the other dead body. Well, keeping homies together forever. Oh. You know? That's, you know, that's just adorable. You know, humans go till death do us part, and, um... Goblins? Goblins go even after, baby. Even after. Although it did look like the, the skeleton of a human. Don't know why they're putting, but... Okay, well then that was just a snack. I mean, you, you oh. know how it is. You just you go to the restaurant, you, you eat the, the peanuts and you eat your wings and you just throw the garbage on the floor because that's classy. Okay, well you know also- That's where we went on our honeymoon. Yeah, that is, it was, it was romantic. It was, we threw our trash on the floor. It was on the floor and then somebody came up and ate it and then somebody started gnawing on your arm. Well, no, that was just the rats that came to eat the food uh, on the floor. That was foreplay. It was enticing. <laughs> yeah, that's why we play we do this with Blood Bowl. It does remind us of our first date. Our first date, our first anniversary, third anniversary, seventh anniversary. We did skip a couple years in there. It, it's and a little bit of COVID anniversary. I'll be honest about that one. We kind of just sat indoors. We didn't really go anywhere. But, you know, if you leave enough garbage in the front yard, enough neighbors will come over to tell you to clean up your garbage mm -hmm. that you can start having you know fun with it like every time they come over they're like knock 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 and you open the door and go friends 
friends. <laughs> and they're like, no, you need to pick up the trash. And you just go, but you came to see me. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way you, that, that uh, you were acting, and I just continued to gnaw on my arm. Jeff was the one, like, <laughs> pooing out in the lawn at the time, and they were trying to tell me, like, you can't do that, we're gonna call the cops. But I'm like, it's COVID, baby! Yeah, we pronounce the L in Salmon. Nothing matters. Nothing matters anymore. I'm pooing on my front lawn. Besides, they're the ones who hoarded all the toilet paper. Where do they expect us to go? Exactly. Exactly. I can't in my uh, in my toilet without the toilet paper. Well, you had to scoot your butt on the lawn when you were done. Right. And you realized it, if you went from the inside to the outside, you, it just was messier that way. You know, it just is. Well, it gets all over the door handles and... Uh, what are you opening the door with? My butt cheeks. And this is why you have pink eye. <laughs> this is why I have pink eye. But I look, I look pretty awesome because my eyes are, you know, different colors. This is true. People will pay a lot for those contacts to change their eye color, and you're just like, let me go touch my door. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And everyone thinks it's an innuendo. N everyone thinks it's an innuendo. Nope. And I'm like, hey, hey, we are not that clever. <laughs> I, I wish. I wish I was that clever. I'm sorry, there's a game. What the hell's going on well, now? Well, the orcs are slowly pushing their way through. It's just. Now, are they been pushing their way like, through or are they killing their way through? Well, uh, ooh, well, it got two skulls, but he's gonna reroll that. And, oh, he just knocked that guy out of the way, and he's running up for a touchdown! Orcs, Spatchy Duckers, duck off, mate, and it is tied 1 2 1. Wow, and now, and yeah, check it out. So. The orcs have uh, human cheerleaders, and the Skaven have orc cheerleaders. Why not? I, I you know, I, I just, oh, I like how they just go, they, they're just rubbing it into, this guy is dead, this guy's knocked out, and they're all gonna draw things on the knocked out guy. Well, yeah. I mean, you know, penis on the face. Right? Right? It's a children's show. <laughs> this, where everybody dies, it's a children's Children, show. Children, when you see mommy or daddy passed out, you grab a marker and you draw a penis on that face. That's right. Or you open the door with your butt cheeks. Yeah, don't do that one. That one, that takes a lot of skill. I don't want y'all to hurt yourselves. But penis on the face. Not, no, don't put your penis. Put it away. Put, put, put the, it away, put Andrew. Put it away. Put it away. Andrew. But draw a penis all in the person's face when they're passed out. It's called a rite of passage and also punishment for being a wimp. You, you know what? You are a bad example to uh, children. This is why you won't let me have any. I know. Oh, 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 he can't keep the ball. But we might actually very soon see that uh, the guy with the uh, the shirts for hands. Oh, no. He, shirt cannon? The shirt cannon. Uh, doing something first. They're knocking somebody out of the way here. And yeah, he's gonna go pick it up, and he's gonna go toss it to Salacious, who can get a one-turn touchdown, and he's gonna oh, try it. Oh, you played it. hot potato. He's gonna run. Oh, look, he's going for it. He's going for it. He's going all the way. He gets free and clear now. Will he be able to make it nope. into the end zone? Short. Oh, oh wait, going, he's going short. Oh, ah! wait, he's stopping and saying something. What's he saying? Hey, you know what I did last night? You better not break my mother into this. <laughs> you know what I did? You better not. <laughs> I put that fly over there. Oh. I feel like there's some history here that we don't know about. Oh, and there was. He knocked him down. The balls. Oh, Salacious could have made it, but he had to stop to insult somebody. He had to stop to insult that goblin. What was his name? Ezekiel or Tony or something. I feel like there's a life lesson here about violence and getting upset and not following your goals clearly. I don't know, man, but all I gotta say is <laughs> bitches be down. I feel like it's karma that just caught up with them because that's their last turn and that was their one, that was the Skaven's actual chance to win this game oh. and he lost it to and stop, instead stop and insult the other player. Aw, oh, man, it's kind of my last job. Got fired, was doing well. Insult somebody. Got fired. Just stopped and decided to insult your boss. Well, well, yeah, it was hilarious. Okay, well, as long as it was hilarious, I don't know if Salacious uh, insult was smart enough to, or was yeah. funny enough to have lost this game. But <laughs> clearly, it was. <laughs> well, what does he think of it, Salacious? What do you think? Was it worth it? Here, let's go over to him here in a second. All right, was it worth it? Totally. <laughs> he has that look on his face. Of, that was totally worth it. <laughs> 
Goats <laughs> and all the flies all around them. And Bashy Duckers were, they, they're the number one team, and so uh, Sewer Water Sally's could have been number one, but he had to do that. <laughs> they could have been contenders. They could have been contenders. They could have been number one. But instead, they'll remain nobodies. And uh, Penguin will go out knocked out, and what a way for us to finish out this uh, season. Oh, well, I guess one guy's just going to run across the field, and <laughs> then it will be the end. I thought he was going to start streaking. <laughs> he just throws all of his clothes off. He's like, screw all this. We're going partying at Tijuana. Here's my butt. Someone get me a door. <laughs> well, let's see. These are the statistics for this particular game. You all can pause and look at it just like you pause at those dirty, dirty scenes. You know what you you know what I'm talking about. And uh, so that will be it for them. It's one-to-one. -one. The sewer water tallies probably could have been the number one team, but instead... They will remain. Well, let's take a look where they are. In the leaderboard here, we can see the Batchy Duckers remain in first place. Uh, Cruel in the game, the Amazon, again, the gang, uh, the Amazon team is in second. Sewer Water Sally's the Skaven wind up in the shameful third. They had to stop to say something to a goblin, which is, you know, my, most of my Friday nights. The 80s Gradies, the Nurgle team is in fourth. Pygmy All Stars in fifth. Stop calling me a goblin. Oh, yeah, well, you, you know, it wound up with an 11 year relationship. Aww. 40 bucks on a beating. Uh huh. Fogies and Grinders, the Dwarf team in sixth. Honorable Shields, Bretonian in seventh. Mad Villains, the Necromonic in eighth. Fierce Fury, the Dark Elves in ninth. And Scary, Scary Clowns take up the rear, uh, the Goblin team. Well, the Goblins usually take it up the rear, so. And they are last in 10th place. Well, what do you think? What, what's your last words on this whole thing? This is our last uh, competition during COVID and probably our last uh, Blood Bowl II competition. Have a ducking good day and uh, goodbye ducking COVID. Happy gaming, everybody.